Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the red corner, James Thompson. This is one enormous man. I tell you what, I met James Thompson for the first time this week. And I cannot describe how huge this guy really is. He put a lot of weight on for this fight. He's huge. What he needs to do is weather the initial storm. Bob Stapp's going to come hard, and he has to avoid the big charge. He has to wrestle and avoid being in the bottom position. He doesn't want Bob Stapp on top of him. He definitely doesn't want him. And take Bob Stapp to deep water. Bob Stapp doesn't know him for a good cardio. Get him tired. Get him tired and break his spirit. Much like Phil Baroni, I think both these guys work out a lot. We're gonna see over 600 pounds of fighters in the cage for this final fight. Just seeing these two guys next together at the weigh-ins yesterday, I, I cannot express how large they are. I have seen heavyweight fighters. You know, you've seen Brock Lesnar and the likes of him, but these two guys are enormous. Both of them hold records for the most watched mixed martial artists in history. James Thompson for Elite XC and Bob Sapp, the most watched fighter in Japanese history. Welcome Absolutely. James Thompson was the most watched fight ever in North America and the most Bob. watched fight in Europe. And of course, Bob Sapp held that distinction for Asia. These are world-renowned fighters. And when you're over 300 pounds and you put a fist on somebody's chin, somebody's going to sleep. This man, Bob Sapp. Bob Sapp's key to victory. Be first, don't wait. And chest the, test the chin, test the chin of James Thompson, James Thompson has been knocked out before, and push the pace, get this fight in there, get in there, get it over with. Tail of the tape. Not a not an age advantage, but maybe an age disadvantage for Bob Sapp. Both of them nearly identical in weight and identical in height. But I tell you what, it's the schedule of Bob Sapp that I have to question. He is on the road constantly. The moment you have been waiting for. Super Fight Promotions proud to present the main event of the evening. Three five minute rounds of mixed martial arts heavyweight contest. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. 34 years old, official weight 141 kilos. His style is MMA ground and pound. And his professional record, 32 bouts, 18 victories and 12 defeats, and two no contests. Ladies and gentlemen, from Manchester United Kingdom, representing Team AS for James Colossus Thompson. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. 39 years old, official weight, 142 kilos. His style is freestyle MMA. He has emerged victorious in the K1 Pride and K1 Hero. He's the most recognized MMA heavyweight in all of Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, Representing from Seattle, Washington, Paul the Beast, Sock! And last instruction from Reverend Judge Herb Dean. Come on. All right, gentlemen, you've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Keep it clean. Touch gloves. Those are two <laughs> monstrous men. And we've seen fireworks all night long. I think we're about to see it in just a few seconds. Ready, James Thompson Ready. against Bob the Beast Sap, and we are underway. 
Big bomb thrown by James Thompson. Gets a single leg and gets Bob Sapp to the ground. Landing big right hands. Sapp just covering up. He needs to work to get out of this. Hard right hands by Thompson. Don't hit the back of the head. Thompson's corner, very vocal, telling him to switch his hips. Thompson chopping away with right hands. Sap doing a decent job covering up. Sap needs to do something here. He's, he's completely giving the ground game away to Thompson. At least try to re-guard, reposition, or get to his feet. And we've seen Sap on the ground before. We've seen him recently. And Ken, I, I said his schedule comes into play. This guy has two more fights coming up in the next month or two. But we all know how important a win is for Bob Sap at the stage of his career. He articulated to us before the fight that he's going to give it his all and really Here's needs a double view. And here he is powering out. Oh, wow. And back to a side mount for James Thompson. What strength. James Thompson is no small guy. He's <laughs> yeah. a strong guy at that. Pushing back. Sap again. Oh, Pulled look him out. Over. Big reversal. And you don't want Bob Sapp on top of you. That was the key to the victory. He traps the leg, traps the arm with the leg. <laughs> and now it's James oh, Thompson right trying hand. to get to his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight. <laughs> hey, stop, stop, stop. Oh, Sapp is stop, tapping. Stop. He, he hurt his leg. It looks like he hurt his leg. He hurt his knee. It looked at that scramble like Bob Sapp tweaked his knee and it turned over. Yeah, he's holding, he's holding, uh, look, looks like it may be the inner quad muscle. I am not sure what's happened here. Mm -hmm. He's coming right now. He's coming. When you, when you, when you, when you get the takedown, he blew his knee. Take us through this replay, Phil. I mean, Thompson was just relentless with the double leg takedown. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Sam somehow hurt something. Not sure what it was. Groin or knee, I'm not sure he knows what he hurt, but something was injured. He gave one big effort, got on top, but Thompson scrambled back to his feet and got the takedown and sapped one and out. Yeah, it looks like it could, could possibly be his quad. I don't know if it, if it tore or something like that. It looked very odd going and hitting the ground. Let's see if you can see anything. You never know, he's 39 years old. He might have actually tore a quad. <laughs> Guy's huge. It would, it would not be the first time it's happened in the sport. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Herb Team stopped the fight at the one minute and 52 seconds of round number one. And your winner, by submission, James Calafo. A big, big victory for James Thompson looking to rebuild his career. He wants to come back to the SFL. And I'm not quite sure what happened